The oil and gas industry may already be affected by President Biden's first actions in office. He signed a flurry of executive orders reversing a number of Trump-era policies, including halting construction on the Keystone XL pipeline. On the heels of congratulating the new president, North Dakota's congressional delegation is pushing back on that decision. President Biden signed the executive order on Wednesday, revoking the permit for the pipeline that brings crude oil from Alberta, Canada to Texas by way of Montana. North Dakota Senator Kevin Kramer is calling it an early mistake. Montana Senator Steve Daines blasted President Biden for the move, saying the project would create more than 70,000 jobs, generate tax revenue, increase renewable energy demand, reduce emissions, and strengthen the nation's energy security and independence. He, along with North Dakota Senator John Hoven, plan to introduce legislation to move it forward. Senator Hoven says the project is critical infrastructure that's been delayed too long, forcing the industry to use less efficient, more costly transportation methods. While North Dakota Congressman Kelly Armstrong says executive orders aimed directly at ag and energy producing states like North Dakota is the wrong way to bring the unity that President Biden spoke of on Wednesday. Governor Doug Burgum issued a statement late last night saying that North Dakota has benefited from modern pipeline infrastructure to support its economy and achieve energy independence. He says, quote, revoking the permit is wrong for the country and has a chilling effect on private sector investment in much needed infrastructure projects. He is urging President Biden to reconsider.